July 4th. Happy birthday, America. For God and country, today in the lab, we're doling out our own version of a birthday cake. A birthday cake that will replace any semblance of actual cake with an abundance of meat and cheese. Not one, not two, but three juicy, beefy, mouth-gasming layers of perfection. Freedom stacked on liberty, stacked on hope, stacked on dreams. This one's for you, America. The 4th of July triple cheeseburger. What a country! Listen, it's the 4th of July. We're gonna make an American classic burger. It's a bacon triple cheeseburger. Bacon is just pork belly, all right? So it's that simple, all right? Bacon usually is cured, it's salted and smoked. So we want a little sweetness, we want a little spice. We have chili flake, we have black pepper, we have a little bit of brown sugar, gonna really amp up the flavor, really work off the salty and the fatty flavor with a little bit of the sugar. And now I'm gonna introduce you to the magic of sous vide cooking. Cooking under pressure or cooking in a vacuum. A sous vide machine regulates the temperature of water. Similar to your fish tank, but don't try and make one of these at home. This is really serious technology. So I'm gonna cook this pork belly for 48 hours, and it all starts with cooking in a plastic bag, which doesn't sound that exciting, but trust me, once you've had sous vide meats, you'll never go back. Food safe plastic bag, that's very important. A little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of soy, that's gonna give it a little bit of umami, a salty flavor. The vinegar is really gonna wake up the meat. So this is our vacuum sealer right here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna suck all of the air out of this pouch. All of the flavor is gonna stay inside of it and it's basically gonna cook in its own juices. And you can see right here, all the air came out of this bag. It's compressed all of the spices, all right, right on top of this pork belly. It's gonna keep it intact. Forty-eight hours later, the best bacon you've ever had. So while our pork belly is on its way to sous vide glory, it's time to get to the actual meat of the matter. I'm going with my Blaze go-to blend, short rib, brisket, and chuck. All right, short rib and brisket give us a lot of melting, delicious, unbelievable fat. And fat's good, fat equals flavor. So why would we go with three thin patties? We're tripling the surface area of our char. A little bit of salt and one of my favorite seasoning blends. This is Montreal Steak Spice. It's got dill in it. It's got coriander. It's got a little sugar, some cumin. You might be thinking, why a Canadian spice on the 4th of July? It's a melting pot. Everyone comes together on the 4th of July. So now we're ready to cook our burger, cook all of our bacon, everything on a flat top griddle, all right? So this is one of my favorite tools, a cast iron flat top on one side, it's a grill on the other side. If you happen to be cooking inside, this is the way to do it because you can still get a lot of that char, that cast iron flavor. While our griddle's heating up, remember this bag of awesome, right? This is our pork belly. You can see it's got all of the juices that are in it. Oh my God, and it just smells so good. You can smell the soy and the, and the vinegar and all of that amazing pork flavor. This is gonna taste even better when we throw it on our grill. A little bit of a neutral oil, something that's not gonna add a lot of flavor, something that has a high smoking point. We're doing this so that our burger doesn't stick to the cast iron here. Thin patties, you can hear that sound, you can hear that sizzle. That is the sound of success. Now we're also gonna butter our bun. So I have some melted butter over here. I'm gonna brush it on my bun. We wanna char the bread, so to speak, toast the bread. Now we're getting ready to flip our burger. You can just smell this grill. It smells so delicious right now. You know, I can smell the spices off the pork. I can smell the seasoning of the beef. Our bun, awesome golden brown Maillard reaction. And that's America right there. So the pork belly's done, because remember, the pork belly cooked for 48 hours, so we want to just get a little bit of that char on there. That's gonna come over here and rest. I got my rosemary and thyme from the window box, some garlic, a little bit of whole butter. It smells so good. I mean, you can see the flavor. 
The butter is browning. The herbs are lending their flavor, giving themselves up to this burger, sacrificing for the United States of America. All right, so now we have to let our meat rest, but why not admire it? We have three beautiful beef patties. We have pork belly that's been cooked for 48 hours. And we have probably my pride and joy right now, this golden toasted bun. All right, so let's plate this thing. All right, one of my favorite things about any burger, of course, are the condiments, and we're making spicy tuna sauce. Uses one of my favorite ingredients ever, Japanese mayonnaise, QP mayonnaise. Any product that's got a picture of a baby smiling, rubbing its tummy, is gonna be a great ingredient. What is Japanese mayonnaise? Basically, it's mayonnaise with a little bit of sugar in it and a lot of MSG in it. A little bit of our mayo. We use sriracha like ketchup, all right? It's a chili condiment. Got a funky rooster on it, otherwise known as rooster sauce. Start with a little puddle of our mayonnaise. So classic American burger, we want some tomatoes in it, but we're gonna use not some fresh tomatoes, we're gonna use preserved tomatoes. But this is actually last year's tomatoes that sat in its own juices, really picked up all that flavor. So it's kind of an aged, sweetened tomato. Onions and beef, a classic combination. Leaving them raw so it gives it a nice crunch to it. Some half sour pickles, add a little savory to it. And then some shredded lettuce. It's gonna give that fresh crunch to it, a little bit of sort of a, a burst of water in this dish. We're gonna layer our patties with a couple slices of cheese. American cheese, it's the 4th of July. So I'm putting the cheese on these burgers. The cheese is gonna melt on these burgers as we're finishing the bill. See, there's one patty. A little bit of our charred pork belly. the one tier, the first tier, the second layer. This thing's getting big, this thing's getting big and I'm getting hungry. And our third layer. So there we go, our bacon triple cheeseburger, a towering monumental ode to this great country. How big is this thing? What have I done? Happy birthday, America. You're watching Burger Lab on Tasted. Make sure to click to subscribe for the weekly gift of burger and win the shirt right off my back. Oi, you there, love, sitting on your Jack Jones waiting for a butcher's at the latest. Why would you eat that? Well, you can get a Captain Cook at now. Revenge is a dish best served grilled. Watch spicy Thai food have its way with the Milk Master. Everyone's doing it, but we do it better on the Why Would You Eat That Challenge. We take this viral meme down one can at a time. Where can you find booze as strong as artists in New York City distillers? In the Navy. They asked me to sing that last part like the village people, but I'm not gonna. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.